kuna post alikuwa amepost ya picha na a video of her in a blue dress asiwe kijana nakumbuka alisema ati Brenda alikuja kabadilisha nguo but hiyo nguo alikwanga nayo party bado ndio nguo alikwanga nayo kwa mug lakini kufika everything ika down on me nikaanza sasa kulia huyo kijana akakuja akani comfort nikamuliza Marvin kweni kumendaje akaniambia Brenda tried to climb down the balcony nikamuliza aje sawa sana Brenda Hochis oh, action movie na tena nikamtuka fupi kana jari anajaribu aje ku climb balcony akaniambia mambo poa akaniambia Bridget siku siku si, akuko nilisema Bridget siku nzuri nikamwambia nini shida akaniambia gashiri ni kubaya nikamwambia nini nime happen gashiri siku nzuri nikamwambia kweni Brenda amekaje akaniambia Bridget kuja Nairobi siku nzuri nika nikamuuliza kweni Brenda ako majua alikuwa na asthma nikamuuliza kweni ameshikwa na attack akaniambia hapana Good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on where you are tuned from and what time you are watching now I go by the name Jefferson and uh, I'm a Christian warrior and uh, tunatangaza kutoka kwa uh, Mororo TV na Kororia TV and uh, another channel inajulikana kama Zedman TV. Na uh, if it's your first time here tafadhali make sure you subscribe na umeza ku hit notification bell ndo each and every time we upload a video you get notified. Now as you can see we are seated here and uh, at far head here niko na dugu yangu ajulikana kama Jojo Kamau ambaye anaingoza Kororia TV but, na leo tumerudi tena na story nyingine ni story ambayo imekuwa ikienea sana kwa mitandao tumefanya first chapter and now this is the, the second chapter first chapter tumefanya ya mama mzazi wa Brenda Kawera Brenda Kawera ni msichana ambaye anajulikana anasemekana kwa mitandao that na kuna uwezekano inawezekana kuwa alirushwa kwa gorofa maybe baada ya magombano kwa familia ama pia kuna uwezekano uh, kama vile familia inasema waliambua ni suicide tuko hapa ama hii familia imetutafuta ndo waweze kujitoza ama kusema wanayopitia kwa hizo channel zetu tumezoea sana kuongea kikuyu but kwa sababu ya kiluga leo tunaongea Kiswahili but kabla tufanye tuingie hapo tulipe bills then tuendelee Monax Shiotas Company Limited itrakwedelia broth ishinali data iso did and share moigana wa 50 by 100 ili ashie kodo kwega kwe no the wa nabere kuiwa matato na neighbors newe metere ile broth share matu dakika 12 kuma matu town negiri igana ria mirongo etano na kuwa mara KBC dakika 45 kuma Nairobi na kilomita idano kuma town ya mara tukakwedelia na giri magana matato ma mirongo kenda na kenda na urehe deposit balance ole hage oro kahora na niondo wo horo makiria na wanani na idwe kuhetokira 0701 501 578 na auto share Royal Town Central Business Center that for room 304 kuringania na fegi ya case sawa sawa now kwa hii story mnae muona hapa kwa set kama tunavyofahamu ni dadake Kawira ambaye inasemekana endo alikuwa na uhusiano wa karibu sana na Kawira tuweze kusikia pia yeye ni yapi anajua ama ni yapi anafahamu kuhusiana na kifo cha dadake habari yako mzuri um, Mzuri. Wewe unaitwa nani? Naitwa Bridget, Bridget Kasheri Kitonga. Mimi ndiye dada ya Brenda Kawera. And me na Brenda tumekuwa actually naweza sema more than sisters like huyo alikuwa anga my best friend, my mentor. Like she was everything to me and I was everything to her. So to me grow up na Brenda Kitambo na when you alianza shule Stella Maris she alienda boarding akiwa mapema sana mchanga sana so araskwa na Johnny dada yangu jiko <laughs> shule zinafungwa tunaonana naona nani amekuja kwetu and all that so 
after some time nikaanza tukaanza sasa ku create a bond we've been together uh, at kama si physically to ya shule and all these venyamenda campus high school mini kaenda but we've been talking with her through the phone and i may play a major part kama yangu through advice everything financially emotionally like tumekuwa close tumekuwa na that bond with prenda usiano wako na yeye yeah usiano tulikuwa pamoja umekuwaaje Ah tulikuwa tu sawa venye madada uko of course kuna ups and downs za siblings kuna to to fights to dogo to dogo mm. but we were okay with each other tulikuwa tunaambiana kila kitu but pia tunapeana boundaries mm-hmm. so yeah wakati wakati uko nyumbani na yako kazi labda nini mlikuwa mnaongea sana kuhusu maisha yenu tulikuwa tunaongea kuhusu maisha uko aje biashara iko aje and she used to support me here and there but funny enough at the young girl kuhusu maisha yake ndio ni venuches je nilikuwa namuuliza Brenda uko aje mimi niko sawa niko sawa ananiambia uko aje mimi nampea full details but mimi nikimwambia ananiambia mimi niko sawa usijali so i did not pressure hard ni kwa nataka ili wakati kitu kubwa iki happen mm-hmm. atakuwa okay ku open up to me mm-hmm. yeah so yo on 21st of february mm-hmm. o oh, tulikuwa tunenda bidhaa ni kwaenda kumtembelea mm-hmm and we ni lionanga yo relationship yao ilikuwa anga just is relationship to iko sawa like tulikuwa tunaenda bowling then nimeenda kwake twice before 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 end work we in this relationship nilikuwa naenda kwake kitambo alikuwa na issue thiru so we've been together before 2021 we meet na huyu kijana juni liona acha nimpatie boundary nisikue naingilia her privacy mm-hmm. So you and your mistake nilifanya but when kwenda kumtembelea I used to see that nilikuwa naona that how watu wako sawa saa kukwanga na any cause of alarm uh, do you the first time I when walinipeleka ku ball tukakuwa na siku fiti then the second time nilenda kwa kia on January 13 this year and uh, tulikuwa tu sawa tukacheza board games and everything na nikamuliza nikaporo nika apologize actually venye sijakuwa in her life and i told her uh, Brenda i'm sorry that nimekuwa siko kwa major parts like kwa maisha yako sijakuwa hapo physically nimekuwa tu kwa simu and all that akanambia sheri tuko sawa like hata kama tujakuwa physically together unajua na kupenda na najua unanipenda mimi niko na so mimi nika assume everything iko iko sawa mm-hmm. so nikarudi nyumbani do na, nauza viatu actually um na kuanga na very tight schedule that's why hata ndio ilikuwa inachangia tusikuwe pamoja na Brenda all this time all this time mm-hmm. so, ni yako yeah, biashara ni yangu mm-hmm. mama amenisaidia kuweka pia Brenda so tumekuwa like co partnership sisi watatu mm-hmm. eh, but ni mimi na Iran mm-hmm. So February 21 uh, mom kuna story tulikuwa tunaongea mom akawaongea na Brenda so Brenda kani text kitu sa bili sa muda nusu uh, she was talking to me about uh, relationships ananiambia uh, mimi ndio the prize like mimi sasa mimi like she was encouraging me nisifanye kitu yenye sipasi kufanya hiyo sister talk and all that so sikwanga na any reason ya kufikiria there was anything that was happening so hiyo date 21 we kapita to hivyo siku then mom ndo alikuwa ananiambia siku that eh, akanipigia simu actually akaniambia ah, sheri kuna vinye nasikia sisiki kama niko sawa kuna something na feel something iko ina happen sa nikamuliza ama ni ile gari tulikuja nayo unajua hiyo gari tulikuja nayo by the way ilikuwa inaenda recklessly sa nikafikiria eh mama ibi ni hiyo kitu anashtuka akaniambia pana akapiga alinipigia anga actually akapigia brother yangu na akapigia baba yangu so akufikiria kupigia Brenda Joel kwanga usiku akasema si invading privacy ya msichana wake na which ni understandable mm-hmm. 
So February we usiku ikaisha hivyo. So Feb 22 tukanikilikuwa enda tu kazi as normal. Hiyo siku actually tuliamka mapema na ni miwanga na chele wangu. <laughs> so tukaenda tukafika kazi 12:49 pm nika get a call nikaangalia unajua kitambo nilikuwa nimepi kuna wakati walikuwa wananitafuta nikiwa kwa Brenda January 13 na nilikuwa nime text kidzana namba yangu Instagram ah uh, walikuwa wananitafuta kuna venye kuna story ilikuwa inaendelea so akanipigia nikashangaa hii ni namba ni gani just kwa nime save namba yake sikuanga na namba yake nikaitika nikasikia ni akaambia mambo poa akaniambia Bridget siku siku si, akuko nilisema Bridget siku nzuri nikamwambia nini shida akaniambia gashiri nikubaya nikamwambia nini me happen gashiri siku nzuri nikamwambia kweni Brenda amekaje akaniambia Bridget kuja Nairobi siku nzuri nika nikamuuliza kweni Brenda ako ajua alikuwa na asthma nikamuuliza kweni ameshikwa na attack akaniambia hapana Bridget siku nzuri nikamwambia kweni ako ICU akaniambia pana Bridget sikuwa nataka kupigia mamako lakini miona wewe ndio utahandle vitu mzuri uh, Brenda ame ame sleep akaanguka and nimekuwa nikijaribu kupigia her colleagues and friends wenye walikuwa na yeye yeah, lakini hawachukui simu so i was shocked mi nikamwambia ako sawa akaniambia wetu kuja na Nairobi so nikaenda nikashindwa nta approach mama aje nilikuwa hata na customer nikawatanisha nikaenda nikamwambia mom mom sijui nitakwambia aje akaniambia kweni ni shida nikamwambia mom sijui nitakwambia nini akaniambia kweni Brenda amekufa by the that was the question she asked nikamwambia sijui lakini naambiwa that ameanguka na twende Nairobi so tukafunga vitu haraka haraka tukapanda gari hata nilikuwa naambia tu si atukubeba anything nilienda na hizo nguo nilikuwa nazo everything sikubeba id kibeti ama nini mom ni yetu aliweza kuchukua kitu kidogo kidogo tukakimbia tuka tukapata personal flani apa kadhwana place flani hapo akatupeleka hadi tukafika tukafika embu mama akageta phone call alikuwa na get phone calls from new numbers akaitika akasikia ni baba ya kijana ndio alikuwa anamwambia ati uh, Brenda vinya ameanguka that hata juu nini na happen he anapata two phone calls and all that so me too nilikwanga kwa back seat nime cross my fingers naomba Brenda na like yes kuniliomba stay nilikuwa li, li, like na hope hata kama stampa stampa tako sawa hata kama atakuwa in a crippled state mm-hmm. juu nilikuwa najua hiyo height mm-hmm. ni kubwa like ch- nilikuwa najua chances of survival ni kidogo so nilikuwa naomba tu akue hata kama ni paralyzed I'll take care of my sister juu nampenda so all the way nimekuwa nikiomba nikiomba tukafika moya akambua so unfortunate Brenda ame pass. Hey, I I was in shock. Venye sasa nikakuja tukakuja wewe tukakuja hadi Nairobi tukapata watu wakatuambia tutawapata kasarani. Kufika the first thing nili break down juni nimejaribu kuwa strong nisilie kwa gari ya wenyewe. <laughs> Lakini kufika everything ika down on me nikaanza sasa kulia. Huyo kijana akakuja akani comfort. Nikamuliza Marvin kwa ni kumendaje. Akaniambia Brenda tried to climb down the balcony. Nikamuliza aje sana sana Brenda how oh, is action movie na tena nikamtuka fupi kana jari anajaribu aje ku climb balcony akaniambia alikuwa na climb balcony juu kuna neighbor fulani ashaiteremka before ajo miskumuliza and anything sasa nikiwa nalia nika nikapata alikuwa na cut kwa wrist hapa siku ask anything about it so tukaenda tukaitwa ku mama kaitwa ku nini statement misi kuitwa ni mama aliitwa akaambiwa explain as in as describe her daughter mom tu akasema ukweli venye kulikuwa and all that uh, tukaambiwa kuna diary Brenda amekuwa akiandika so mimi najua Brenda amekuwa akiandika diary from kitambo hata mimi niko na diary so wakasema twende tuangalie kama hiyo hiyo handwriting yake mimi nilenda nikaangalia tunajua handwriting ya Brenda na her line of thought so nikaiona niko na unajua hata kama mtu anaweza copy and writing unaweza jua mimi najua venye Brenda ana anafikiria and all that so nikasikusoma niliona tu nikaona eh 
hii nikasemia and write in yake hata siko na job what is going on so mom uh, kidogo kidogo ndio nasikia wakiongea kwa sauti wanasema ati kulingana na his statement tu nini Brenda inakaa alijiua so mimi nashangaa at suicide so tukaitwa kwa ofisi ya UDCI huyo UDCI was tinani akatwambia at oh venye hizo cases zimekuwa mingi kasarani and uh hiyo msana alikuwa anga ame commit suicide and all that sandio nilisema nili, nilichukua hiyo kitabu actually nikaanza ku go through it nikaona ile part yenye walikuwa wana business suicide alikuwa ameandika um i wish i could go back in time no i wish i could die go back in time ni time travel ni rudi mahali nilikuwa kabla ni kuwe kwa hii relationship. Ajua kuna hawa tu mwenye mwanga mna what science fiction I guess mnajua what is time traveling I think mnajua what she meant. So wakabase hiyo line ndio ilikuwa anga suicidal. Like easy pages zingine she had written how she was proud of me how she loved us alikuwa ameandika hizo parts zingine venye the guy was cheating on her how she was not happy kwa your relationship na alikuwa ameandika mahali Brenda January sikupate hapa so hapo ndio nilishangaa kusikia hey ati walikuwa na, na na relationship issues hiyo ilikuja as in that was a big surprise to see kama kijana alikuwa na pretend sije kama alikuwa na pretend ili ni si realize something but kulingana na veni mishi na all they were good together so skwanga na doubts at all atavenya alikuja kuni hug kuni comfort si kwanga na the slightest idea actually mimi nilikuwa nafikiria ali sleep akiwa akiwa anajaribu kufungua mlango but hiyo ndio ilikuwa anga idea as in ilikuwa anga kwa mind so the next day uh nika nitukona article kwa star at she has bruises on her neck na dream mkono iko 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 nini iko frac fractured na she had nini abrasions kwa thighs and all that so then kajua eh hey, easy vitu ni physical so the first thing kuenda up station ndio sikusalimia huyo kijana nilimuuliza ulifanyanga Brenda nini kanimbia kwa nini nilimfanyia nini Bridget kwa nini nilifanyia si ndio wakanga wakafungua hiyo wakapata star akatoka tu akaenda so nika tukarudi tuka hapo nini tukasema tupelekwe kwa crime scene tuone tujione si ndani ndani tuliogopa kutampa na investigations tuende tuone hapo inje na 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 evidence tuende hapo inje tuone height and all your surroundings and all that so tukambie tukasema tupelekwe na polisi polisi wakakata hapo kasarani wakasema labda tupelekwe na the family family ikasema that uh, family wakasema that hawezi tupeleka tukiwa wengi juu ya media and ku attract attention sasa si tukasema atwezi enda tukiwa alikuwa anasema twende mimi na mom tukasema labda twende as a whole family so kukakuwa na issue hapo watu wakaongeleshana vibaya and all that but huyo huyo polisi mwenye alikuwa anga na case juu anaitwa nani baraza mani somebody mutuko something like that akawaambia ah, atsaneni na hawa watu wafanye venye wanataka so tukaenda kwa crime scene kwenda kwa crime scene tuliona kulikwanga na broken window na mali hiyo dirisha imevunjwa ni kwa pen imevunjwa hapa kwa kwa, kwa kona mm-hmm. uh, tukaangalia hapo chini mali wanasema wali ameanguka tukona kuna blood so hapo ndio doubts zikaanza ku settle in na ile atiko ya star so everyone was apana there's something going on tukarudi hapo kasarani tukasema tubadilishiwe askari tupewe askari wengine hatuna imani na hawa so the the guy who you head wao alikuwa anga very rude to my mother and my father aliwa uh, ali aliongelesha ali vibaya akasema sisi uh, t- kwa nini tumekuwa na change of heart of which sielewi juu mtu unaweza kuwa unaweza kuwa unaamini something but tukiona ile huamini ulikuwa ume, umeaminia mse your mind inakuwa changed hiyo ni allowed lakini walikuwa wanasema ati si ni vigeugeu and all that so uh, 
tukasema katuambia hatuwezi kuwa hatuwezi tunini hatuwezi jump into conclusions na postmortem majafanyo so tukasema tupelekwe tuende tuka view the body kwenda ku view the body kawira alikwanga tu sawa like hakongoje mali alianguka kuna pebbles na hiyo height tulikuwa tume expect tutakuta ko messed up as in ako na damages kwa uso face jaw and everything but tuna tuko na tu wako sawa sa hiyo postmortem tukasema ihairishwe isifanye hiyo siku tutafute our own pathologist so tukenda tukatafuta our own pathologist huyo pathologist ak advice kama hatuna imani na hawa kasarani we can seek further help ndio tukenda pale DCI na we were welcomed vizuri and all this so siku ya postmortem tukafanya postmortem tena na hii postmortem ili reveal that kulikuwa hapa kwa hiyo hiyo broken neck akukwanga na injuries outside the skin most injuries zilikwanga inside in the internal yani yani kulikwanga na na damages to her lungs alikwanga na internal bleeding na chest waka suggest that hiyo 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 chest venye ilikwanga nini inaolimanisha ni hiyo blunt object yenye lim hit it could have possibly been the ground hiyo flow sasa si tulikwanga na dust tukauliza ni aje mtu anaanguka na usikuwe na na joy isivunjike juu kumaisha kama chest ko injured alianguka fast forward alianguka na chini aki face uso something like that meno i ko break jo ama anything hizo tu ndio injury zilikuwa kama ina maina asa sasa tukaanza kuuliza kwa nini hizi vitu kidogo kidogo zili zi, aziku aziku get looked at kama hiyo time difference hiyo anaji contradict kwa wakati tukambiwa eh, labda alikuwa anga confused uh, pale kasarani pia walisema ati huyo kijana kulingana na venye analia anaka kama mtu mwenye hawezi fanya hawezi fanyia mtu hivyo sasa unashindwa kweni watu hawa pretend <laughs> alafu anasema tena pia uh, venye ali, ali suggest ampeleke hospitali lingine na bado alikuwa amembua chances zake za survival ni low inaonekana ni mtu mzuri so hawa watu tukashindwa kwa nini hiyo mko mna pick sides and all that so after tuketuka tukasema after postmortem tukaenda kuzika Brenda and all this sasa ndio watu wakaanza family waka wakasema hii kitu haiezi haiezi she hapa we should we should go seek media media as in want to saidia kutafuta witness and all that to at least tuliambua ati tukienda media tutaribu case and all this do we how but tuliambua that itatampa na investigations and so so lakini watu wakasema ka press forward wakasema lazima hizi vitu ziangaliwe juu tena kwenda hapo DCI tukambiwa hii DCI kiambu tukambiwa ati kuna blood ilikwanga collected kwa crime crime scene of crime tunashangaa kwa nini kasarani kwa hiyo damu yote waliona kwa hizo uh, kwa nini the first thing walifikiria ni kwenda kuchukua diary juu ni kwa sure kila mtu mwenye anaandika diary unaficha mahali kwa nini unakuja ukitafuta one thing one thing specifically he diary juu could be the kasarani akubeba hizo blood soaked nini hiyo hiyo rug hawakubeba kwa handle kulikwanga na damu lakini huko DCI walituambia wali walipeleka testing na kuna pia organs walipeleka ku test jina wakabeba hiyo chakula alikuwa anakula na drink alikuwa anakunywa so hizi zote kasarani failed to do that na to feel that if wange seal hiyo mahali kabla ini kabla everything maybe kuna Mm, evidence ingepatikana juu kijana bado alikwanga na access to the house ni aje tunajua alikwanga na access to the house juu majirani walikuwa wanatuambia kuna jirani alisema alikuja sijui nini na pia hawakuwa wamefunga juu angebadilisha locks or something but bado kijana alikwanga na access kwa nyumba <sighs> so hapo DCI bado investigations zinaendelea but hatujui more tumekuwa tume, tume, tulikuwa tuna expect vitu zitarakishwa juu tumetoa case kasarani wenye wako wanatusaidia yes but 
vitu tu zinaenda zinaenda slow na jua tunataka si tunataka warakishe mambo wa miss out on the important things but pia family inataka closure kuna marafiki walikuwa wanamjua kwanza nimeona comments mahali watu wanasema kuna msichana Meru anaweza fanya hii mambo jua sana Meru ni aggressive and all this but tunataka tu vitu vitu zi 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 zi, 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 cover, zi tasemaje tunataka hii hi kitu hii hi, what tunatasemaje ai ikue as in sped up a bit ndio tukue at least family gain closure juu sai hata tujapata chance ya ku grieve dada yetu juu una unashindwa sasa uta grieve ama utaanza kutafuta justice ya kawera Yeah, you won't even visit us. Last moment, some of the last uh, words zenye muliongea na Kawera. Ah, uh, Kawera last words to Liongea ni yo she was telling me that ni venye simu imezima ningesoma hiyo message. Aliniambia anga that uh nilimwambia at uh, i i i mahali niko that nataka tu ku, ku benefit na good energy akaniambia na kuelewa i understand 100% but regardless usijisahau know that you are the prize hiyo ndio the last message aliniambia uh gasheri wendo liko umetembelea kawira kwa siku mingi Maybe kuna wa Kenya tumeona story kwa mtandao na kuna Kenya bibi wajiuliza hata kama ni kujirusha hata kama ni kurushwa ilikuwa ni floor gani ilikuwa nga fourth floor yes na alianguka na side yenye iko na pebbles and all that the other side ya kuanguka hii side ya tiles and alianguka tu hii side ya pebbles na ki expect ukianguka kwa pebbles una expect to make war war and all that but tuli expect tulikuwa tunafikiria tutampata in a very bad state but atukumpata in a bad state yes the most injuries ziko inside sa unashinda ni intano unashindwa nini ili happen exactly but ile kitu okay tuseme labda alianguka let's say labda alianguka kulingana na venye postmortem inafanywa ilifanywa kuna utu hizi vitu ndogo ndogo kama neighbors wanasema that they had an argument walikuwa wanateteshana kila siku and that kwanza walisikianga walisikianga argument then wakasikia a scream then wakasikia a thud kuanguka yani alafu sasa hii nyumba iko na balcony mbili na pia kijana alisema ati alijaribu ku Brenda alijaribu kwenda kufungua mlango unashindwa i balcony venye anasema alienda kujirusha kwa the kitchen balcony na hii kitchen balcony kuna dirisha imevunjwa kwa nini a choose kuvunja dirisha alisema alivunja dirisha ili ende kuchungulia mali Brenda alianguka hii dirisha imevunjwa kwa kona hapa ndipo amekatwa unashindwa unavunja dirisha aje hivi na ndio ungefungua ningekuwa understandable kama alikuwa anavunja kio ya mlango kufungua donob ya nje lakini hakuna donob na ange choose pia kufungua mlango kwa nini hiyo sasa hiyo part ya kusema kuvunja dirisha ndio ilitupea all the doubts that he loved that she was running from something do you imagine kwa nini mtu asitumie mlango ya mbele kwa mind unafikiria kuna kitu alikuwa ana, anatoroka tena hiyo part ya kuniambia alikuwa ana climb down the balcony hizi vitu aziangaliwi wanasema he was confused sijui nini of it you i make sense eh, kumaanisha kama alikuwa ana climb balcony he must have seen her akiteremka hiyo balcony sasa hiyo contradicting statements ndizo zilifanya tu tuhamishe pia case from TCI from Kasarani yes tukapeleka TCI yes huyo kijana alikuwa anafanya kazi pamoja na Brenda hapa na Brenda alikuwa ana work kama med, med rep medical representative hapa mega pharmaceuticals lakini kijana wote amaware ni his a podcaster na pia ni DJ hiyo ndio vitu nimeona like vitu naona sijui what he does for a living but naona according to Instagram posts zake yeye yeah, alikuwa anafanya kazi pamoja hmm. kwa statement ya kijana maybe kuna vileleza kuelezea kama maybe alikuwa na ugomvi na dadako 
aliambia ali, 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 ali kukuanga na argument actually alitwambia kukuanga na argument at all that hiyo siku ndio ndio hiyo siku ndio kwa kwa, kwa sta ndio ilikuwa imeandikwa walikuanga na argument but akiambia mom alimwambia kukuanga na shida yoyote yeah. Brenda alirukia kwa balcon ya nyuma ama ya mbele kwa sababu kama ni ya mbele mbona hakuchuzi kushuka na stairs Okay balcony ni mbili kuna balcony ya bedroom na kuna balcony ya kitchen So ingekuwa na tena unexpect mtu wa mtu suicide wanga wanacha suicide or not even if you don't expect akuacha suicide or not na kwa nini unashindwa kwa nini ali choose kwenda kujirusha kwa hii kitchen nini hii kitchen balcony akaacha the bedroom balcony but alinini alianguka na kitchen balcony ndivyo mm-hmm. kitana anasema kutoka uh, eh, siku ya mazishi eh mweza ku communicate na kijana hap mm, yes to communicate kuna siku alinitumia message okay kuna wakati Brenda kitambo alikuwa anaongea about cremation uh, cremation ni hii kuchomwa mwili instead of kuzikwa lakini Samia's kitambo ilikuwa anga tu tunasema ati ukikremate mtu una una una, una panda mti na ashes zake so ilikuwa anga like ilikuwa anga conversation na kitambo asio so, kidana alini text akaniambia ati e, najua Brenda uh, alikuwa anataka akremetiwe ashes zake zirushwe kwa ocean na if mnaweza taka usaidizi yote i'd be glad to help okay hiyo message kwanza ili nikasirisha and hiyo time wait nika nika nikamwambia si wewe ni text tena and all that Uh, kutoka hapo nio wakati ya, ya the day yenye nilikuja akani akani comfort kutoka hapo tena tukuongea but nimekuwa niki follow up on his posts Instagram na actually on the another reason yenye ili tukasirisha tukasema tuna pursue hiki tu juu kuna post ameandika at so far so good unashindwa mtu anapaswa kuwa remorseful to semi ali ama anything like this So you to after I to just communicate anywhere else but nimekuwa nikiwajua ni liman follow but kuna ile curiosity nataka kuona huyu mtu akwaje after all this so unapata to what we expect as in kuanalia but anything but how you could remorseful at all so hiyo ndio kitu ilifanya kwanza tuone there's more to this alafu pia tume 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 sort media ju okay apart from asking you guys go to idea um ku seek justice for Brenda nimekuwa nikiona comments like what to wana wana attack kawira like huyu mtu mnajuaje kwa nini mnam defend she killed herself najua kuna vitu uwezi judge kama ujui kwanza ngoja u get the full story then uta chip in what you think juni very hurtful as dani kama mnajua venye ku lose your sister ni hurtful kwanza ukimjua okay kuna kwa siwezi sema ni ni, ni mmemjua deeply venye anezaniambia mashida zake juu tulikuwa tuna avoid hiyo actually sijai mpya mashida zangu ajoin pia mashida zake but kuna vitu you just know asa hizo comment sections and all that zimekwanza zime to traumatize unapata mtu like it's hurtful tafadhali tafadhali and kwanza hizi blogs kwanza nili come up a blog na hiyo blog una itakuwa hapo for years and years and this blog was Brenda committed suicide like ni hurtful so tumekuja pia media pia to tafute as in to ask if anyone knows anything had anything ama aliona alisikia from beshte alisikia rumors uh, please come out like whatever you know it at idea sana in this like what you saw what you had hata kama ni fununu tu kitu kidogo tu hata kama unaogopa like you could send either either stream message or how utaona fit junajua watu wanaogopanga kuwa witness like you wanajua but if you know anything tafadhali help us out mm. yes. ku communicate na one of uh, friends uh, tumekuwa tukicommunicate na her best friend alikuwa anaitwa Daki anaitwa Dakiti and hata yeye hajakuwa akimwambia anything like amekuwa akiambia by the way alianza kutu, kutu 
kutu kutu ignore ku ignore our calls and messages kutoka January see do what was going on with her na si mimi pekee nime complain like alikuwa ameanza ku distance Brenda okay. alikuwa ameanza ku distance but alikuwa anongea to mom about coming home na pia okay kuna hiyo part yenye alisema ati alikuwa huyo kijana Marvin alisema ati alikuwa anajaribu kupigia the colleagues na friends kujua ni nini wapi walikuwa anga na Brenda and all that but tuliambiwa na watu wa kazi niliwauliza wakasema the, the, Brenda was not at work hiyo day nikauliza marafiki yake wenye nilikuwa anajua and walisema hakuanga na yeye kwa hizi post zake status alikuwa ame post um, glass to wine to wine glasses na caption ilikuwa anga his and hers another caption alikuwa kuna racist walipatana na yeye wote alikuwa anga wakasema nita take down one racist one racist at a time kuna post alikuwa amepost ya picha na a video of her in a blue dress asiye kijana nakumbuka alisema ati Brenda alikuja kabadilisha nguo but hiyo nguo alikuwa anga nayo party bado ndio nguo alikuwa anga nayo kwa mug pia tuliweza ku identify the last place she was uh, tukapata alikuwa anga botanica tuliangalia na google lens mimi na rafiki yake mwingine akaweza ku identify na, na rooftop tukajua alikuwa anga botanica DCI wakaenda waka, wakaangalia uh, CCTV footage and tukakuja kushtuka that she was alone regardless ile post ya his and hers na the two glasses alikuwa anga peke yake so kuna bestie ali suggest that hii ingekuwa ilikuwa anga indio mali argument ilitoka either out of jealousy do you kidana ikuoneshana Brenda alikuwa anga peke yake na ame post his and hers na mimi kwanza even nilionanga hiyo post nilisema ah watu wako sawa wameenda out wamewata nini kesho tutaongeana na Brenda ilikuwa anga actually saa mbili sitaka kumsumbua yeah so you think fights between Brenda and the DJ ilitoka kwa maybe kwa sababu maybe DJ alifikiria Brenda alikuwa out with someone, with someone else yes. and maybe after the commotion mm-hmm. that's what brought the death of Brenda mm, yes that's what i believe to atawe ukipata girlfriend yako ama boyfriend <laughs> ame post something like that of course you'll be angry so Yes that's where ni kushua e there's more to this ai kuangati amekuja kwa nyumba amefikiria hata ndio nikajirusha kwa balcony ju hapo alikuanga peke yake kwa restaurant ange decide ni suicide she should have done that akiwa huko ange decide kama ni kusimama katikati ya barabara or anything kama ilikuanga in her thoughts suicide that's what she because kutoka alienda hapo botanica alienda kutoka kitu five na alika kutoka 5 at the 8 at a corner peke yake akikunywa tu makali zake alikuwa anakunywa cocktail and all that alikuwa anakunywa peke yake sasa unashindwa eh, anatoka na decide that na kuja na toka all the way from west westlands na kuja kwa nyumba <laughs> ni decide kujitupia huko so hiyo ndio one of the reasons nilijua hii ilikuwa anga a fight a fight must have ensured that, that it must have happened they in explain pia your dirisha kwanza yo kusema kuvunja dirisha mimi siamini hiyo part yes i lazima kuna kitu iliendelea na kijana anakataa kusema mm. message yako kwa kijana ungetaka kumwambia nini Okay, sidani kama inezala hiyo kwa TV. <laughs> Kuna vitu vingine ningesema but si si ediko ni the bad like si si sidani kuna kitu naweza mwambia juzi tena naweza mwambia ni ni okay, si si ni bad like niko angry fast and si dadangu amenda like she was everything to me. So kuna emotions niko emotional all i could say is i said to bring that after your justice there's nothing i can tell him as ko in a position yako 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 say exactly what i'm feeling yeah
Kuna wale wa Kenya wanakutazama labda unaweza kuambia usidizi gani unataka na mabishto wako ama mabishto wa brenda unaweza kuambia aje Okay ile kitu tunaweza kuambia ni stini tishe maombi <laughs> you pray for the family uh, tumekuwa tumekuwa in a very bad state kwanza mom hiyo pressure yake and all that by the mom anajaribu sana for us as a family she's in a very bad situation and in a, in a very bad place so first of all ningeomba for maombi ningeomba for support uh, ningeomba for watu wajaribu tu kujiput in our shoes in our position kabla u- comment something kabla tweet something kabla post something kwanza fikiria this was a daughter to someone this was a sister this was a best friend and tungeomba tu uh is investigations to z- 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 to z- 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 happen to ili tupate closure like this akona kitu kingine nasema na kama kuna venye nimesema before if there's somebody who saw hard hata kama ni kitu kadogo tu the smallest of details in is a idea a very major part your part like atuna witnesses for now witness ni the boy and the boy alone na word from the neighbors and all that but mtu mwenye maybe kuna mtu aliambiwa sijui but if you are out there tafadhali please come forward na join scary na juno go about of what was <laughs> jina kina nani but tafadhali we we depend on your words we depend on you in case someone wants to to open up or talk to you cuz i'm sitting here and i'm like at time i'm seeing you smiling and uh, see, see see understand what's happening in your mind ama nini nakupata I believe there might be someone who would want to talk to you. Maybe you can share your number or maybe your handles or something. Okay, the reason I'm smiling ni 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 a traits ni me. Okay, ni ni nitasema the coping mechanism something like that. I tend to smile see smile a lot sneaky see smile. Okay. I don't know how to say it but, but deep down kuna vitu nataka kusema niko na anga and all that but I cannot say yes you know reason but ukitaka tu kuni you can hata uh, kusema something you can reach me out niko facebook niko twitter niko instagram you can find me at Bridget Gacheri Uh, pia kuna contacts you can contact me through 0115469135 yes and actually another thing na spelling na kumbuka this ring i actually stole it from her the both of them <laughs> and i kumbuka the memory and it was a funny one Yeah so uh Brenda Atakama she's gone from us like she's still in my memory like the one to like kuna part kuna bond as easy break you are just like that but i really hope that justice it get it get up to justice it apatikana that's all we are hoping and praying for Yes. Do you feel kuna mali justice imekuwa mama mali kuna delay na ni wapi na ungetaka kuambiaje? Okay, kuko ile tu kitu na feel ni easy small details they should be looked at na hiyo part to ya 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 investigations like na naelewa kuna hakuna hakuna witnesses and all that but Uh, I really hope that you know what we come out and your vitu zitanza sasa ku ku hasten a little bit mtasaidia pia the detectives in 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 finalizing this so hiyo tu pate ya vitu kwenda slow ndio to our complaints like tunataka to closure we just want to grieve our sister hiyo ndio kitu tunataka tutakuwa na time but we really we really hope that vitu zitaenda too 
retain the retain the retain the fast and smoothly. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Uh hiyo ndio imekuwa story ya Brenda na kama you unatazama this piece we had earlier done an interview with Mother Tukawera you can check it on the same channel if you're watching from a Mororia TV kindly make sure that you look for Kororia TV and also Zedman YouTube channel and do subscribe to the uh, to both channels if it's your first time here kindly make sure that you subscribe to all these channels and hit the notification bell so that each and every time we upload a new video to the family to anyone watching this story kindly leave your comment there i uh, will be checking on them if you have any story you would want to share with us number zetu ziko hapa kwa screen tafadhali tuandikie sms ukipiga simu hizo namba ziko kwa whatsapp tuandikie sms in case upige simu hata kuchukuliwa tuandikie sms and we'll get back to you thank you for joining morori thank you for joining zediman thank you for joining kororia tv and on behalf of morori tv my name is jefferson aka jefferson and on behalf of kororia tv we have jonjo kamau from Korea TV and on behalf of ZD man on the other side we have Mbio Kigodo so till next time may justice prevail and god bless you so much